Good morning. It's 7 o'clock here on 30 at the spot. We've been following breaking news all morning. An apartment fire in Kansas City. You can see completely gutting that building. Right now, we have all hands on deck. The building is Lockridge Avenue near Benton Boulevard and team coverage. Let's get to Sarah Plake right now. She is talking to someone who lived in that building. Sarah. Yeah, we've been talking to residents all morning long, and they're they're trying to make plans and figure out what they're going to do this morning and, you know, tomorrow and the next day. Uh, behind us here, uh, it's just a shell. Uh, thing. You can see inside the windows that walls have collapsed back on themselves, smoldering inside, and uh, police have been extensively fighting this fire for quite some time. But I'm here with uh, Jackie Studer, uh, who, who came out here to help her friends. Uh, Jackie, when did you learn about this fire? What happened? Um, they called us this morning about 5.30 in the morning and said that their apartment building was on fire and they said, can you come please help? And we said, yeah, we'll come help you guys. And when we got here, I just couldn't believe how, how devastating that is. I mean, that's just horrible. I can't imagine if it happened to me and my boyfriend, I'd, be, I'd just be devastated over that. So, uh, uh, Billy and Jesse, they are staying with you guys tonight, yeah, right? Staying with us tonight, yeah, until they kind of get back on their feet to get a place of their own and where to go and stuff like that. So, I hate for them to be on the streets in the cold and, you know, so, yeah. It's really, it's really devastating. It really is. Yeah. It, exactly. And so, it, you know, we've been watching this unfold all morning long. There was, you know, intense flames shooting out of this building here at uh, Benton and Lockridge and, and folks displaced, some with not even, don't even have shoes on, still trying to make plans and figure out what they're going to do with their lives. A lot of people have lost everything they own inside those rooms there and um, lives uh, went up in flames. So um, we are still talking out to folks out here figuring out the situation. We have other live coverage. Uh, our other reporter, Andres Gutierrez, he's been talking to the fire battalion chief. We'll have more updates as this hour progresses, and be sure to stick with KSHB.com and 41 Action News. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Sarah Blake on 30 at the Spot. Absolutely, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for the stories of those people. We uh, we hope they are able to recover. Let's get out to Andres, who has been keeping track of how firefighters have been battling this. Good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. Firefighters have finally been able to get an upper hand on this fire. This is the first time that we've been able to see white smoke emerge from this apartment building. Now, let me just walk you through what exactly happened. This fire broke out a little before 5 o'clock this morning. When we showed up, it was just uh, thick smoke billowing out from the third floor building, uh, third floor of this uh, apartment building. Uh, there were uh, an evacuation order for firefighters to get out of the structure, and they were fighting this fire defensively just from the outside. They were breaking windows trying to get to the fire inside and just using uh, the ladder trucks as well as the hose lines on the ground. But initially, then eventually this fire really escalated. It went, the flames essentially consumed the structure and about a half an hour ago, the, the roof actually ended up caving in. But prior to that, the back of the structure had collapsed. So the biggest concern right now, even though the flames aren't shooting out of the building, was the fa is the fact that the front structure might collapse if these flames do really ignite and erupt again. So they've had to move this ladder truck that's right in front of me further back, closer to across the street, as well as the firefighters and the uh, water hoses. So, uh, but and we do know that two people, I saw personally saw when we showed up to the scene, two people being transported in stretchers with oxygen masks. They were alert, but they're taken to the hospital, most likely for smoke inhalation. We obviously don't know what caused this massive apartment fire. Uh, we will still are working for that, but I, we do know that there are a number number of agencies out here trying to uh, work with the, the firefighters here to determine that. We know that the KCPD bomb and arson squad is here on scene. Uh, but uh, at this point, sort of a little bit of a celebration that these firefighters are having here for finally getting an upper hand on this fire. So it is just a matter of minutes that they'll declare this fire under control. Reporting live, Andres Gutierrez, is 41 Action News on 38th Spot. That's good news to hear. Uh, interesting to look back at some of the uh, the kind of the lineage, the progress of this fire. I also want to show you, that's the building that Andres was standing in front of. That is what is now a shell. You can see the difference. You can see how old this building was. I also want to, uh, on our uh, Twitter feed, you can see some of the pictures from when the fire was just billowing out of the building. And then we scroll forward and you can see the shell that's left there. To see this is, is really kind of, um, uh, it, it's just interesting to look at the progress of this fire. Also, KCATA just tweeted out, bus service is going along normal, but they are providing 
providing a warming bus for residents, the 30 or so residents that have been displaced um, to help there at the request of the fire department. We've also spoken with the Red Cross this morning. They have people on scene trying to help, not only providing, um, obviously, emotional support. It's a very trying time for them. Uh, things you don't think about. Uh, medication, uh, not only a place, uh, you know, food, clothes, clothing, what they need, but communication to the people they need it. Some of them left their phones in the uh, building and they don't have either shoes or a phone or something like that. Red Cross is on scene to help there. Other than that, uh, the fire department just had their job cut out with this older building. Very problematic to fight in older buildings. So as far as the weather, was it helping them or not today? Let's check in with Nicole Phillips. Yes, Richard, and one of the things too that we were